Good evening. I'm going to go over a pretty cool feature that I use in Node-RED all the time. And it's a, called the link in and link out. It's not a Home Assistant node. In fact, let's, let's see where we got that from. Uh, basically, what it allows me to do is reroute various messages on flows between tabs so that it's easy for me to organize certain functions and things that I do in Node-RED. So let's go to Manage Palette and let's see if we can find link. Is that what it, uh, is this what it is? Node-RED, I love a Node-RED, do, 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 no. A UI link, which, what was it called? Let's go find it here. Filter nodes, let's do link in. This is Node-RED link in. What do we have here? Sorry about this. Huh. If I go to my palette, nodes, node red. Oh, it's under node. Is it in here? Link in? Yeah, link in and out in use. Okay. So apparently that's part of the core. Okay. I'm not 100% not sure of that. I'm not brilliant or a genius by any means, but I can figure things out. So anyway, let me show you how this works. So let's say we have our tab here and we've called it simple node red and we want to create a simple inject node so we can send manual timestamps and we want to send them to a specific place. Now I'm going to create a debug node and I'm going to drag it into the flow here and then I'm going to connect the two and I'm going to leave everything default and I'm going to click on my debug tab and clear with a little trash can then I'm going to click all nodes and I just want to monitor what's going on in the current flow I don't care what's going on in the rest of the system right now I just want to show you what this does so I need to deploy so we'll go ahead and deploy and um, I've got an error in my node red configuration because I have a node that's not configured yet. So it's gonna continually do that uh, confirmation. So you can ignore that. But now that I've deployed this, if I come over here and I click, well, let's take a look at timestamp first. It shows that the properties are, uh, there is no name. We can just call this uh, manual banana squash. And uh, the payload is going to be the timestamp. It could be a number of things. Um, and the message topic, we're not specifying what the message topic is. The uh, settings for this are that it's going to do nothing, basically, uh, unless we tell it to. So we could say, let's inject this uh, timestamp once we deploy automatically after a specific period of time, and then we could tell it to repeat um, various, various intervals or intervals between time or at a very specific time. In this case, all I'm using it for is to send a timestamp or a manual banana squash, as this says, down this line right here so that I can see what comes out the other end. And I use these as manual triggers to test things. So I'll go ahead and click this and Warning, node has undeployed changes. Oh, look at me, smart, smart ass me. I haven't changed or have deployed my manual banana squash. So let's deploy. And you can see I've got an email problem here, not a big deal. I'll confirm deploy, and then we'll click on manual banana squash. Boom, and we see in the debug, that's what we've got here, debug node, and this is a little bug, it's squash the bug, right? We see uh, the date, the node, we click this right here, it'll highlight the debug node that it's referring to, so we can kind of figure out where it's coming from. If you have multiple debug nodes on one flow, you can get confused on where the message is coming from. Uh, and then the message.payload is a number, and it is the date and time. That is the number of seconds that have passed since, when is it, 1969 or 1970? some ridiculous time like that. Anyway, that's the 
basics. If I click it again, that's what I get. I get the updated time and the updated time and the updated time and, the, and you get it right there. So that just triggers a, a flow. So now what, what would happen if we added, if I copied control C, control V, if I created another debug payload and I sent the message to this one as well, and then I deployed, right? Now what's going to happen? If I clear this, I just want that. What does that say? Clear uh, command option L. I can barely see that. Current flow. Great. If I hit this, oh, look, I get it twice. And that's because it's sending it to two debug nodes. And that's where I could say, well, which, which one did it come from? Well, okay, it's that one or it's that one. Great. You know, we don't need two debug nodes, but th that's the basics of an inject node. So what we can do here is we can create a new tab. Let's call it, uh, let's see, we'll call it uh, linked in. Ha, huh. that website. Okay. And we want to, I'm going to delete this message payload and I want to put a message payload over here. Or a, uh, did I say message payload? I'm going to delete the debug node. I'm going to go over to LinkedIn tab and I'm going to drag a debug node to the link in tab. Well, now how do I connect? Can I connect like this? No, I can't. How do I connect my manual banana squash to my message payload over here, my debug node over here? Well, that's where I use the link in and link out. So let's do this. If I go too, a little too fast for myself here, let's do link. We'll do link out because we need to send it somewhere. And then it doesn't matter where it is. You can put it anywhere you want. And I'll do a link in because we need to receive it here. Okay. Now, I want to give these a name so they're not confusing. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a moment here. But let's say uh, this link out is going to be uh, bananas bananas okay and this LinkedIn is going to be other bananas all right now the logic you use would be you know unique to your setup but let's do let's drag this I want to drag it over here and I'm going to drop it on the linked out right so this message when I click it is going to go to this link out and at this point it's not it doesn't have anywhere to go but I can grab this little blue deal right here and I can I grab that? I used to be able to grab a little bit. Maybe I grabbed this thing. Ah, there it is. A little white deal. Sorry. And I the dotted line, drag it up to your tab and let go. Yeah. And then drop it on the link in and you will create that link. So now if I click on the link out, it shows me where it's linked into. When I click the link, well, it, sh it shows me that it's going to the LinkedIn tab, right? That title here matches this. So when I click this button, it sends a message to this link out. It's kind of like a teleporter. It's teleporting from one tab to another. So if I click this, it'll take me to that tab and it will show me the inbound, right? So now I can see that this is highlighted here and it's coming from simple node red. So it's really easy to jump between them and not get lost. So manual banana squash is sending to a link out, which goes to the linked in tab. Boom. And this goes, jumps over, highlights, you know, activates the LinkedIn tab and shows me that it's coming from simple node red and going into this. Well, now from here, I can send it wherever I want. I could send it to another link out. I could send it to this node. I could send it wherever I want it to go. All right. So we'll go ahead and grab this and we'll send it to message payload. Now I want to deploy. Great. Now, if I, if I keep this on current flow, I'm not going, I don't, don't think I'm going to see. Yeah. I'm not going to see what I need. So I'm going to change this to all nodes and I'll clear. So I don't have any, any messages I don't want. And then we'll hit uh, manual banana squash and look, we get the same result, right? Now, but where did it go? Well, we know where, where it went because we can click on the linked out and it shows us it went to the LinkedIn tab and on the link in, it shows it came from simple node red. I think you get it by now, right? So if I click this link right here, 
it will take me to the node, the debug node, that was triggered, you know, that produced this message so that I can find it. And that's another way to jump to it. So that is the simplicity of a link out and a link in. Now, if you double click on these nodes, it's going to show you all of the link out destinations or sources that you have. And you can see at the bottom, this particular instance, this particular node has checked off the other bananas. So we are going to the LinkedIn tab and we are going to the other bananas link in node. And we that's because we named this other bananas. If you double click this one, it shows you where it's coming from. It's coming from the simple node red tab, which is labeled uh, and, the, and the link out node is labeled bananas. And that's an easy way to know where your or to dial in and where your things are coming from. You don't have to drag. Uh, you don't have to drag the dotted line. You could simply drop in a link out and connect it. And you could double click this and you could choose where you want it to go. I want it to go to other bananas on the LinkedIn tab. So I can jump over to the LinkedIn tab by clicking that and I could create another link in. And I could say, double click this and I want it to come from the simple node red. Well, see now here, I didn't, re I didn't name the new one, but I want it to come from that new one. So maybe I should name that so it's not confusing to me. So let's go back to simple node red and I'll double click this and I'll give it a name, uh, strawberries. Right. Okay. Now I'm not sure if the deployment is going to be needed here, but we'll double click this and look, there's strawberries. So that's where I want it to come from done. And I can send this to wherever I want it to go. So let's just do that. And now we've simulated that first, you know, uh, thing that we did on that, on the original simple node red, where we had two debug nodes. And so if I click on, clear that. If I click on this, I'm going to, I'm going to get two messages. Ah, I've got three messages. Why did I get three? Because four, 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 four. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I got three. I should have only gotten two. Let's try it again. I'm getting three. Well, I'm sure I'll figure that out, but you might even know, like I missed something. Anyway, that's the basics of the LinkedIn and linked out. Download it, use the uh, manage palettes here, um, unless it's already, like I said at the beginning, it's a part of the core. Um, you can use these to organize and I can show you one way that I've done this uh, under the, I have a heartbeats where I have a five second, 15 second, 30 second, one minute, two minute, five minutes, midnight at 1 a.m. These are all inject nodes that happen at these intervals and it sends uh, it sends it down to Union Station. And this is a little bit excessive, but I, it was a thought that I'd, I'd try this and uh, I'm not sh so sure it's working out very well. But so Union Station is kind of like a train station here and it, c it collects all of this information. So all of these are coming from Heartbeats into the from Heartbeats um, link in and then I have a switch node here that checks the uh, message uh, or it checks the interval and it looks at it and it says um, if the message dot seconds is equal to 5, 15, 30, 60, 300 noon or midnight or 120, then go down a certain path and then those link out to specific places. Uh, for instance, every 60 seconds this comes in and I, I get something that goes to heartbeats, set variables and sound central. Um, anyway. That's just an, a, a more advanced way of uh, routing all of your messages. So give it a shot. See if it can help you organize your flows. And I uh, hope that was helpful for you. Have a good night. I'll see you next time.